Hey everyone, Colton here with Hotshot Off-Road, and today we'll be installing a set of SS3 Sports in this beautiful 2019 Toyota Tacoma. Let's get started, shall we? your tools needed list for this install is actually surprisingly simple. All you're going to need is an Allen wrench to tighten the bolts on the side of the brackets for the SS3 light, a small flathead screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, a long thin flat blade screwdriver, or a trim removal tool if you are using the wheel well method, and then a pair of needle nose pliers. So in regard to getting prepared for install, what you'll do is you'll take your light, and as you can see, there's the angled bezel side, and these brackets, the long legs of them, will go to the extended bezel side. However, before you do that, what you'll want to do is take and see these little, little slots right here, you'll take the nylon threaded nuts and drop them into there on either side. Can be done with the bracket in, but it's certainly easier to do them with the brackets off. So I've got those back on. I'll slide this bracket back on. And then what you'll notice is here, that mounting hole is actually a little bit elongated. So if you wanted to adjust these lights down the road, you could take and manipulate the housing. This bracket will be fixed. You can manipulate the housing and move it in or out. All right, once you've got that set, then you'll take one of your washers and one of your screws and just go get it started on this side. And what I'll do to avoid losing the nut over here is I'll get another one started over here. What I'd recommend is if you are just installing these the first time and don't know where the aiming should be, and it is different for every vehicle based on any sort of lift or variances in tires that you might be dealing with, I would say take and scoot this all the way forward and then it certainly can be adjusted later down the road. Now that we've got those in, we can take our Allen wrench and tighten these up. All right, lastly what we'll do is we'll pre-install our pigtails. As you can see this is notched, so you'll match this up the bottom of this goes with the button side of the pigtail harness. Can only actually go in one way and it'll just push directly in. Once you hear a click, they are in. Most people are gonna tell you to go through the wheel well to get the stock fog lights out. However, I actually prefer going through the top and actually removing the grill from the truck. So to get the grill out, all you have to worry about is a couple of push pins and a couple of bolts. So here we have one push pin, one bolt, another 10 millimeter bolt, and then one other push pin. The only other thing you've got, and you most likely have the TSS system right now, is there's a plug right there. You'll want to disconnect that plug, squeeze and push through that little clip squeeze and push through that little clip. Then all you've got to do is take and pull the grill a little bit forward and then down here towards the bottom you'll want to push straight out towards the front of the truck because there's some additional clips in there and they're just pressure clips. So let's get this grill off and we'll get those stock fog lights out.
So if you'd like to use the wheel well method, it's actually surprisingly easy as well. Although you don't have quite as much room in my opinion, and of course you're definitely gonna get dirty going this way. But I'll certainly show you how because it'll be necessary to show you a couple more pieces for install to make things easier for you. So first is this little screw right here. You just turn it 90 degrees. And then if you have a trim removal tool, that's great, but this screw will come straight out. So if you can get something small in behind it and get it started, it'll pull straight out. Then all you have is one 10 millimeter bolt on the underside. So once you've gotten the screw and the bolt out of the wheel well, first piece is to get where the screw was. So you'll want to take a small screwdriver and get underneath here. There's a small lip on the underside and you'll want to lift up slightly and then just push towards the center of the vehicle. It'll come free and then you can just push that out of the way. And then the underside, this will need to go directly in towards the vehicle. So I'll get my fingers underneath here and then I'll take and I'll push towards the engine. And what there is, there's a little clip in there that holds it. And you can push that free and make yourself room. What I like to do here is I'll take and roll some of the fender well out so that it shims itself to kind of give me more room to work but when you lift it out here you could certainly see there's there's plenty of room to stick an arm in there and you could feed the fog light out through it taking the fog light out of the vehicle is actually relatively simple so you've got the stock fog light plug you'll push down on the black ribbed part of the plug and push down to separate it from the light and then you've got a single Phillips screw that you will remove entirely and then grab the fog light housing itself and it just slides towards the outside of the vehicle so it slightly rotates out. There's a couple little channels that the stock fog light rests into and you'll feel them when you get everything separated. So actually completing the installation of these lights is very simple. You'll see that I did use the open area next to the headlight to pass the SS3 down through. That's actually the area that I used to pull the stock fog light out. Um, all you'll have to do is take that bracket and cam it into that area. You'll see that I did use a bared one here just to show you how it fits into there. You'll reinstall the screw, plug back in the stock fog light plug to the pigtail plug, and Put the truck back together. I know at this point we all want to be done, but I'm sure a little bit of aiming is going to have to occur. So in order to do so, all you have to do is loosen the two bolts with the Allen wrench on either side of the light, and then you can manipulate the light up and down. An easy guide for you is back the truck up 25 feet, and the fog lights should be aimed so at the top of the beam is about four inches below the level line of the light. So in this truck's case, the fog lights, the center of them sat at 28 inches. We measured to 24 inches for the top of the fog light beam. And last but not least, we have the head to head road test. Fog lights are on in both videos for the entirety of the run. The path is the same for both runs and camera settings have been locked. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in for the install and review of these Dive Dynamics SS3 Sports in a third gen Toyota Tacoma. My name is Colton with Hotshot Off Road. If you found some value in this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments section below. Enjoy. Enjoy.